Okay, hello. What I'd like to show is from a picture like this that you've run through Photoshop and removed the background. We can then go to this website that I've linked below, PFHID. Hit the bottom button, Collab. And once here, hit your copy to drive. Once that's done, we um, go up to our edit, notebook settings, make sure it says GPU, hit save. Then we can go up to the connect button, hit connect to hosted runtime. As it connects, it'll take a couple of seconds or so to build its own little hard drive there, initializing. all done. Now we can begin the process of, um, where's the first one, right? Go down to here and hit your, actually I think I've missed one, yes. Go to here and hit the import Python. Run that one, go down and hit the import Python. Go down, once that's finished run the repository and then run the input data. And then, because we want to upload a picture, we'll run this one here. So whilst that is running, we're going to hit Choose Files and go to the picture that you had planned. Uh, this is my one, like I showed you, um, the girl. And I've loaded that in. Now the best thing to do as well is actually go into that folder, whatever it is. Copy and paste the exact name. Okay, so she was called Model Black. And the reason why is because whilst that is, uh, once it's finished uploading, we have to change the name exactly to the same name there is in the picture. Better quality picture. At the moment, I'm downloading a massive file. It's what? Well, it's not massive. It's one gig. I'm. I'm I'm uh, unzipping it. It's going to take seven hours to unzip it. And it's basically um, uh, let me find it for you. Oh, that's uploading. Okay, that picture's all uploaded. Um, this picture will itself out when it's ready. Hit your file, go to the PIFAD, go to sample images, and there's our, so the same name has to be exactly on this test. Control B, and there's modelblack.png, so make sure it's exact same name. Uh, once that's all good, we can go up to runtime, run after Control F10, and there they go, they start all the ball, all the ball. Very good. Ball starts running. And so it gets down to this part here where it starts to build the FPX. And there's a thousand FPXs for you to have. Get Generated Humans is you will uh, download a one gigabyte file full of all these people. I think it's a thousand people standing there like this in different positions in different ways. And any one of them can be made into um, what we're doing right now. So, like I said, that is building. It's got 54 seconds left to build it.
Okay, now hit your refresh button. It's ready. Refresh. Results. Okay. Open this folder. Open the final folder. Open the recon folder. There's our OBJ and there's our PNG. So we go up to this button here, the three dots, and we click download on the OBJ. Okay, results model black 256. Um, put it back in the same folder and I'm going to save that. Grab the PNG. That's what we're going to load on to our OBJ. Okay, same name. I'm saving it in the same folder. Um, but what I'm going to do is show in folder, and then I'm going to right click, edit, open it up in Paint, and get rid of all that. Yeah, it should be right. Now, sorry, wrong one. Okay, no, I don't need it. Resave that one. And then close that. Uh, we can close all that off now. And, hello, my dear. And open up your uh, blender. So, go up to your file. Import. Wave front of OBJ. Um, then we find file that we had which was here rose result model black okay so she is in very nice now what we do is click out click in again and go to edit mode and then we go to um, UV and UV editing bring her up close you hit the green button the Y and it brings her face on like that and then we're going to go up to our UV button again in this one here and hit project for view that brings out over here we go to our open and we go find the picture that we had results model black so that appears and now using the scale and the move we match them as best you can And I mean, remember, I'm not happy with that, but you can always go up and down. Uh, yeah, the exact reason as you choose. Once you're happy with that, go over to here. <coughs> Pardon me. Pick your base color. Go down, image texture. And then open the folder of the image texture and add the result model black or your model name. And then we can go over to layer and click that button. And there she is okay um, the other problem we have is she's also on the back All right. so only with a funny looking shape so with that in mind um, go back to our uh, UV editing and we're going to spin the young lady around till we completely see the back of her um, then we're going to hit uh, okay that's that And then we can basically try and grab all of her face at it was and then go up to scale grab that, grab that and kind of move it somewhere else what color you want it so we'll make it just like the black of her hair that's that. 
Um, if we go into our layout and have a look at what's happened so far, see how the face has disappeared. Now you can keep going in and just grab each dot, each sort of thing like that. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Um, but you can keep going in, and, and that's sort of basically how to get rid of a face from the back of it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it's filled out that little space there. Okay, well then, then what we do is we go up and file and export as FBX. And I'm going to go to the same folder. And model black. Save it as an FBX. Just drag and drop it in. Uh, model black. prop and then we have her as an FBX. Okay, it's not a great picture that I chose, it didn't work that great actually. Um, or you could even bring her in, model black and see if she'll come in as a character. And then we could try and run the echo skeleton things on her. Okay, so characterization, accurate. <laughs> And then you could sort of start working on placing the whole fingers. So we could grab that one. Okay, better picture you use, better quality you'll have. Okay. Uh